So a few weeks ago I showed you how our, how our asparagus was coming up. Well this is how it's looking. This is about the third mess of it that we've had. Nikki has cooked this in the oven with some salt and pepper and olive oil. We had some hush puppies and some codfish with what baby? Lemon butter sauce. Lemon butter sauce. Then we're going to have a, a garnish that I guess with some red beans and rice and I'll probably put some of my special pepper powder in that. It's just going to be a spicy awesome uh, dinner but this is uh, how the asparagus is turning out. That one was crazy and, and uh, crooked. I've been eating a lot of it raw. I took a big bag of it uh, to work raw the other day. And the thing that's really awesome about this is the stems themselves actually are sweet. So, uh, you know, ordinarily you'd, you'd just eat mostly this part right here, right? But these are awesome. Uh, some of the best asparagus I've eaten. So my first year of being able to eat the asparagus i let this grow for two years and mature um, i could take you out to the garden but nikki's cut most of the big ones that's what's coming up and we get this about every two days a little mess like this and we've planted a bunch new so there you go folks that's going to be my dinner tonight the asparagus is going real well i might just step out there just and show you uh, kind of what the beds are looking like even though the asparagus has been uh, cut off the large large ones it's quite windy this evening, so there's going to be some noise, I'm sure, on this. But uh, we just had a really nice rain. I mean, it rained all day long. It's probably only cleared out maybe a couple hours ago. So now kind of beautiful uh, weather. Beautiful blue sky. We planted some little onions the other day. Our actual <laughs> real planting, that's the old uh, spinach left over from last winter so I did not dig it up I'm still eating some of that and it's starting to get some kind of sprout things on it I uh, tried eating some of that didn't taste so great but the spinach still tastes good but um, we're, our actual planting will be in two weeks we're going to plant the third week of uh, April here in our I think we're in growing zone seven so you can see here how this is growing up big and tall and thin some of them are short and stumpy though. And you can see where, where Nikki's been cutting some off here. And I think I broke that one off over there yesterday and ate it. So yeah, this is how the asparagus looks if you let it grow up. But the, the ones that come up as ferns, I'm just letting them continue to grow up because that you know, has to nourish the plant, I guess. But this is what your uh, asparagus shoots. I probably will eat that one. Some of them are coming up a little and thin. I did put 10, 10, 10 fertilizer on this. That's miracle Grow garden soil. Now this asparagus over here, which I broke the top off this one a while ago just to taste it. It tasted great. This was some we bought last year that said you could, you could harvest it by the second season. And so I have been you know, eating some of those like that right there. You can see where I broke one off behind that one. I broke one off here and ate it. All this is uh, first year, there's a bunch underneath there. Then there's a bunch over here. This seven or so feet between these onions and the other asparagus. I'm going to have a really big bed of asparagus soon. So that's how the garden's looking on April 15th. And it looks like we're really going to have a lot of blueberries this year, which I'm really digging the thought of that. There's a bumblebee down here working on this one. It's pretty cool. Oh, that one did jump on me and get me. So yeah, got a lot of berries, little berry blossoms and everything on the blueberries this year. This has been an ongoing little project and I'm still working on it. We'll be finishing up soon. You can see kind of what I'm doing here. I'm trying to make a, a big graveled area and I'm putting some weed or grass barrier down between the, the gravel and the, uh, and the, the grass. And I reset this fire pit here. So this is all, this is some of the rocks that I had last year. I have to cut one piece to go in that gap over there. I don't want to really uh, cement this together. I kind of want it just to set in case we ever have to move it again. We just constantly decide new little cool things we want to do with our yard. So pretty soon what I'm planning to do is I have the hammock here. Um, planning on filling all this up with gravel kind of like in a big semicircle kind of thing here and then I'm thinking about putting a couple porch swings maybe as many as three out here so that when we have friends over they can sit in porch swings and eat and somebody if they want to can lay on the hammock 
and just enjoy it out here. And boy, is it nippy and cold. My garden that day is going to come to an end because it is it is freaking cold out here right now. <laughs> so there you go, folks. How the garden's looking on April 15th. About two weeks before we start to plant in earnest. We're going to put all of our peppers, our sweet potatoes, and our squash and things in the ground. So i got to rework all that that's over there that's been dug out. And that'll be kind of, I have to make a decision as to whether I want to keep on letting the spinach grow or if I want to uh, uproot that and plant something else there. Kind of enjoying still eating the spinach. It's lasted since I, I, I uh, planted that back in September, I guess. Amazing. Real pretty day here on Mineral Springs Mountain. Pretty bird sounds and stuff too. Peace to everyone. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Subscribe if you like.